I'll tell you what, for uh, Sherb Akhtar there, the walk away came just in the nick of time. The worst time is when you've just set yourself that final delivery stride and you're into your action. Mohamed Kaif, whatever it was that distracted him, distracted him just in the nick of time so that uh, Sherb at least didn't have to get into the action before he pulled up. Seen it before, fast bowlers especially, they can get themselves in a real old tangle. I've seen uh, fast bowlers injured in exactly those circumstances, but uh, he had to go all that way back to the end of his run-up. Here he comes again. Oh, the balls! It certainly paid off for Sir Bakhtar. He didn't mind waiting, or he said he doesn't mind waiting now to bowl that delivery. Whatever it was that distracted Mohamed Kaif, the ball before, he's paid a penalty for it now because that one is a thin little nick, it's a thin little edge straight into the gloves and India have lost another wicket. Well, this is a pacey delivery. I think the fastest delivery Shoy Bakhtar has bowled. It surprised Kaif, extra bounce for the fast bowler as well. Moin Khan making no mistake. And Pakistan getting the breakthrough once again just at the right time Kaif who was looking good departs for 27 73 for four and Pakistan have had the happy knack today of just continuing applying the pressure it's a quick delivery this from uh, Shobakta Mohammed Kaif will probably say when he sees that and looks at it himself that he was just a little bit away from the body not really in line with it to play the shot that's exactly what extra pace can do he got it to bounce as well Now he'll be bowling with his tail up. Certainly is. Now this man, Yuvraj Singh, he's been a little out of touch recently. Certainly seen him before, strike the ball beautifully. Another of these uh, multi-talented Indian batsmen. Where's the paces of this over so far? That uh, wicket-taking delivery. The quickest of the over. Just under 90 miles an hour. And that's Sudley Keeper as well. It's a double strike in this over by Sir Bakta. Pakistan are cock a hoop. And uh, these supporters of theirs in the crowd could be jumping up and down for some hours, yet this has got Pakistan into a mighty strong position. Yuvraj Singh, come and gone in a hurry today. Well, it's a uh, short of a man, short of runs. Now, this is too early in his innings to attempt a shot of that nature, especially against someone uh, bowling with his tail up. A double blow for Pakistan here. Shoaib Bhakta striking twice in this over. India have lost half their side and now in dire straits, 73 for 5. For the stretch. There's the verdict. Steve Button is the third umpire today. Slurred at every this time with the off break action. And we've seen some better disguise than that over the years. We talked about Abdul Razak's slur ball, but uh, this one. Not quite so well concealed. Now, what uh, on earth has happened here? Now, I've hardly ever seen Raul Dravid raise his voice or heard Raul Dravid raise his voice. Something has triggered that. It's just a collision. Well, that happens in cricket all the time. comes the uh, referee. Well, sir, rightly so. Rahul Jarrah was must have been expecting it after that little confrontation. Very interesting. And back to the short stuff, I reckon. Slow ball. And it's worked for Shoaib Akhtar. 
India losing the ninth wicket and Johanna gets another catch. So change of pace doing the job for Pakistan. Well, this is right off the toe of the bat. That's why it's gone nowhere. And the reason for that, probably the last thing that Pathan was expecting was the swallow ball. You couldn't get much further down the bat than that. It will go nowhere, it has gone nowhere. So if Johanna makes no mistake whatsoever. It's a very good piece of bowling. The ninth wicket is down. Van has gone for six. It's 199 for now. Shoy Bhakta to have Bajan Singh now. Oh, that's a good walker. Fast. On target. Lucky to get the single. Paul missing the stumps at both ends and both could have been out. Well, the best of all is Mohan Khan. Now he can see the funny side of this. He's had a throw. He's missed the stumps at his end. Harbhajan Singh who's running away. Now watch what happens to the ball here. It clips him on the leg and almost deflects onto the stumps. And, uh, Johanna does well to stop the overthrows. Everyone had to change direction. But it brought the 200 up and that came in just 41 deliveries. So India doing well to reach 200. He <laughs> took his time, ran in two paces, looking for the direct hit. <laughs> right, shall I? Will I get there before he runs back? In the end, nothing happens. I'm not sure that uh, the Indian batsmen are agreeing on the situation. Very excited, uh, an excitable character, Harbhajan Singh. Now it's Nera, back on strike. That's in the air, should be taken. Comfortably taken by Afridi. An excellent performance by Shoy Bhakta. He picks up his fourth wicket. And it's been a good performance by Pakistan. Good all-round performance in the field to restrict India to 200. That's off the... We saw the last dismissal off the bottom of the bat. This is off the top of the bat, right up near the splice. He goes absolutely nowhere. Freedy makes no mistake whatsoever. Show of actor, four wickets for him. Four for Navi. They've wrapped it up. Harbhajan left. Not out on three. They've done well, Pakistan. It might have been better for them if it hadn't been for that partnership between Dhaka and Dravid. Yes, it was Pakistan who won the toss, put India in, and this is what's happened. India lost wickets uh, early on, three quick wickets, then a partnership between Kef and Dravid. But then it was left to Dravid and Agarkar to bail India out and uh, get them to a score of some sort of respectability. 200 after 49.5 overs. Dravid, the top scorer, with 67. Now, Shoy Bakhtar did an excellent job there, picking up four wickets for just 25, his best figures against India. He's now talking to Sanjay Manjrekar. Well, Shoaib, uh, thanks a lot for talking to us. Four wickets, uh, you'll be pretty happy with the figures. Well, I hasn't been bowling well for the last couple of series, but uh, it's a good match to come back. And uh, I'm glad um, I came back in the right time. The last time you played India in an ICC event, you had a forgettable time at Centurion Park, so it must be a very happy moment for you to come back strongly this time. Well, this is every day is a new day, so I'll take each day as it comes. And what about the pitch? Did it uh, have something for you there? Well, there was a slow pitch, and uh, I think we bought pretty currently line, and uh, bowlers have done a great job. I think the team was up for the cause, and they just wanted to win the game badly. And tell us about that one over where you bowled a maiden over and picked up two wickets of uh, Yuvraj Singh and Mohamed Kev. Well, that was I belongs to. I think that belongs to my critics. I think they keep me going. Uh, everything been said about me. I, I enjoy playing for my country. I love playing for my country, and um, I just want to charge in in that over. I just want to show what I can do. What was striking, of course, was today that it wasn't all about pace. Uh, it was Shoei Bakhtar with a lot of variations today. Well, I, you see, I'm struggling with the rhythm for the last couple of years, but you see, you have a bad days, a good days in, you, in your life. I'm a bit of struggling with this rhythm, but now I came back quick, uh, came back hard. I, I think my team really backed me up and my coach and everybody management all together, they really backed me up. 
and you'll get the total easily, Pakistan? Well, we still a long way to go. I think we're not going to take that match easily. And uh, they have a pretty much good side. And uh, I think with their fan and a couple of the bowls, I think they can do the job. But we try to hang in, hang in there. Like